it is there for some time, you know, for employment generation, rural employment generation. Uh, so, engineering is there? Uh, yeah, the, yes. That is there for job yeah. employment. Our hands. No, no, I said, no, I was in Tigger and myself. So, you said it's also there, sorry. Anyway, now, Emmanuel, tell us something about that. So, you know, what, what, why it was you know, considered in Tigger and Engineering? Yeah. Sir, uh, this uh, scheme, it was envisaged that in the rural areas where employment is less, in the lean season of agriculture, uh, rural people are not able to get job. So it envisaged that people will get at least 100 days of uh, job work that will be uh, supported by the government. Mm -hmm. So the benefits of it can be seen uh, in the present time. So incomes have increased in rural areas. Then uh, protein intake uh, in health has also increased. And uh, now, what are the failings? You know, where it has you know failed? You know, in the general analysis, people have. Yes. So first thing is about the beneficiaries. Uh, before the management information system came in, uh, it was said that uh, the uh, sum was spent on people who were not even enrolled and then issue was there with the infrastructure which was being developed with the MG Narega. It, it, it was said that it is not sustainable, only ponds are there and roads are being constructed which are not sustainable. Yeah, so sustainable said, or uh, it was not there? What is, what is so in, main, in many cases, uh, like uh, there was a news in that uh, one toilet or something was constructed and, uh, and it was shown as uh, three in numbers. Three roads lead to the same infrastructure and they are put it as, as three infrastructure is completed. And so cards are, also, job cards. Job okay. cards. So, this, you know, you said, you know, fake job cards or that. Yes, sir. What is the, you know, cure for that? Government, payment for what? Sir, so recently the government came with uh, management information system is one thing which they came with. Then second is Aadhaar uh, which they came up with so that uh, exclusion of beneficiaries could be avoided and real beneficiaries can be kept. Okay. So these two things are there. Um, biometrics, uh, introduction of biometrics, cash, DVD is also there. Now, you are only reading books. Yes, sir. Uh, what books do you read? What type of books? So, currently I prefer more non-fiction, I read non-fiction books, whom one or two like. So currently I am reading uh, by Christ Pays, Money and Muscle Power in Indian Politics, Milan Bachelor, he is uh, a person fellow in uh, Cambridge University. Yes. Okay, what, what, what uh, theory, what thesis, what is his thesis, Crime and Muscle Power or Money, what is the thesis? So he tried to tell this thing that why people, uh, despite of knowing that uh, the elected people are criminals, they have criminal records, why they keep on electing them. <coughs> so the reason which he gave was, first thing is the failure of law and order. If a person uh, is there and he has a problem, he goes to police station, they are not ready to file an FIR. And if he goes to the local MLA who is a good, he has muscle power, he can call the police officers and he can ask them to file a case and it's technically case is filed. So people you, think... Uh, you think it is uh, working then go out of the system or what? Uh, is there any specific, you know, inherent limitation? So, yes, simple. Is it, you think, you know, this money and uh, muscle? Yes. It can go out of the system or it has to be accepted as, you know, for some time at least, as part and, you know, part of the social media or system. What do you think? What is your Sir, it's there, these problems are there in the society, but uh, they can be, these problems can be removed. Like, muscle, money power is there. If election finances can be made transparent, if there is a cap on uh, the funds which the parties can raise, and if uh, they bring their uh, books under RTI, these things can be solved. And muscle, for muscle power, there is a need to ensure law and order situation in the state. This will improve the situation. Yeah, you have electronic service. Does the government have an electronic policy? 
Okay. Yes, sir, electronic manufacturing policy is there, uh, which came in 2000. Uh, sir, I don't exactly know the year, but anyway, are we a net importer or exporter of electronics? So we are net importers, but we have this target in the digital India of uh, having zero percent imports. So what what kind of package would you advocate boosting exports of electronics? So the problem with electronics is we don't have the infrastructure. Like uh, if we talk about the chip industry, we don't have that. For inputs, we have to import it from countries like Korea, Japan, US who have technology. So government came up with cluster methods of building chip industry, but it didn't take off. So I think there is a need to promote that. Then MSMEs are there in the country which need support of the government in this sector. Those MSMEs also need to be promoted. So in this way we can improve the exports. What is your export today in electronics? Okay, you of geography also is a yes. subject, right? How many coastal states we have? You belong to UP. UP is not a coastal UP state. Is not a so how many coastal states we have? Can you count? Man, I don't know. Okay, the Gujarat, Gujarat. Now, tell me one thing. You have been saying that there's a flip side to why people people of civil service and all that. There's a flip side also. In the sense that you also have to prepare to go to jail. Yes, yes. You know how, how many people have gone to jail in the various regions. Yes, sir. Who are they? So there is a case going on. Bureaucrats? Yeah, I'm talking about jail. There is a case like going on. The whole secretary. Yeah. Uh, so that's also possible. On. Yes, sir. Sir, but you, you have standards of procedures, you have all the laws. You have the constitution. If you go according to that, I don't think. No, no, no. I think the whole secretary from also people say has also gone by the, the rule book and everything, that procedure. So, but, but then the flip side to it also. So, anyway, what I'm trying to say is judiciary getting into the executive decisions, policy decisions, challenging them, and making this, uh, making the civil servant responsible for that is a risk. In the process of? In this process, yeah. But that's how life is. So, but uh, the coal secretary, it is alleged that uh, corruption was going on under his nose and he didn't do anything. Keeping quiet is also a crime, so because of that, he had to pay for that. What? Well, you have to think very, <laughs> you think very highly of it. Good that uh, you are thinking like that. Uh, Junai, uh, you have done electronics and communications, right? Yes, sir. Uh, can you give me uh, your views on the artificial intelligence yes. and the impact it is going to make in terms of technological innovation in India and on the economics? So, artificial in intelligence is about giving uh, human-like capabilities to the machines. Mm -hmm. So, the potential of artificial intelligence is huge because uh, uh, we have these search driven cars, Google cars, simulation uh, techniques are there, military wheels, even in the health sector, uh, the robotic arm surgery which is there. So the human error which is there in all these things, it could be reduced with artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. But there are certain issues with AI also like uh, job losses, it is said that around 6 million jobs will be lost in IT sector in India because of AI. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Facebook recently, it created its own language. And there was you and cry over that. Mm -hmm. So these problems are there with AI. But I think if implemented in a proper way, then AI will be very beneficial for the economy and for the humans also. How does the work of AI in India compare with the work being done in the other countries? So at two levels we can see it. One is the government level and the other is the private sector level. In US and other countries, a lot of research is going on on AI. Mm -hmm. And recently, in the budget, also, Niti Aayog also said that uh, we have to build our capabilities of AI. Government is focusing on that. Adobe recently said that in Hyderabad, they will set up an institute for research and development in AI. So I think uh, India is uh, going forward in this direction and more need to be done. What have you done about the work being done in China in this sector? 
too specific. So I don't know. Okay. China is far ahead. China actually compares with the USA in terms of the work that is being done now uh, in, on the artificial intelligence. All right. Uh, recently, the president of Iran was on visit to India. Uh, okay. Hassan Rouhani. Uh, we obviously have a very deep interest in building relations with uh, uh, Iran. However, there are some problems so too. Saudi Arabia, you know that there is a contest between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Uh, can you tell me what exactly how is our interest in relationship with Iran on one hand, Saudi Arabia, and what we can do to really balance these two relationships? So with relations with Iran, uh, first is the energy security. Uh, we are net oil importers and Iran has huge uh, reserves of oil. So we can uh, have energy security, having good relations with Iran. Second is the connectivity. Mm -hmm. uh, Jabahar port is there, we are developing that port in that region. So that we can bypass Pakistan and get access to the markets of Central Asia and in that region. And stability of Afghanistan, security mm -hmm. concerns, that can also be balanced if we have good relations with Iran. Uh, with Saudi Arabia, there is a regional conflict. Uh, Israel is also very much angry to uh, Iran. So we have to balance our relations. Like we have dehyphenated our policy with Israel and Palestine. Can you tell me about our relationship with Saudi Arabia first? What is our interest in Saudi Arabia? So first, uh, the diaspora is there, mm -hmm. uh, 7 million diaspora in the station region and a lot of them are working in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Around 70 billion of remittances we get from that region. So first we have uh, this interest. Second, uh, energy security. Uh, Saudi is also mm -hmm. a provider of oil to India. And third, if we say uh, FDI, because uh, in Saudi Arabia a lot of capital is there mm -hmm. and uh, Prime Minister as well as the government is promoting. Uh, so that uh, investment can come up from that region. Mm -hmm. And defense sector also we can improve because India and Saudi Arabia, they are net importers of defense equipments, largest importers, first and second largest importers of defense equipment. So we can have... Uh, so how do we improve our defense cooperation? So we, only, only if we are the first and second largest importer. So there are certain areas where India can uh, export defense equipments to Saudi Arabia. Uh, because uh, we have our own uh, indigenous defense manufacturing. Have you actually read it somewhere or you are just speaking out of your own uh, thinking? So, uh, I'm there. I'm it's not anyway, it has to leave the stuff. Okay, anyway, can. And so, uh, last is, uh, I'll say, the security concern uh, uh -huh. about how to tackle Pakistan because Saudi uh -huh. many a times comes on the side of Pakistan. In Maldives also, it is said okay. Yemen is uh, very close to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So these issues mm -hmm. are there with... Uh, so how do we balance out the relationship between the two? Because Saudi Arabia and the Iran, they actually cut a distance. So, so first, thing, first thing is, I think uh, India should not meddle in the domestic uh, politics of all these countries. Whatever the conflict is there... India should not meddle in the, meddle in the domestic conflicts mm -hmm. of these countries. Indian interests, they are fulfilled by Saudi Arabia as well as Iran. So we need to have relationship with both of them. So it is not uh, like in Israel and Palestine, we have done, we are having relations with Israel on the same side. Our stand on Palestine is similar. Mm -hmm. So this kind of policy need to be uh, taken forward. In. Uh, Junit, my question is that if you build good relations with Iran, yes. that will actually make Saudi Arabia happy. So they may not be interested in making having good relations with India. It's not a question of India meddling in their uh, affairs, but they are not wanting to have the relationship with India if we develop relationship with, with other countries. How do we how do we uh, avoid the situation? So I think that that should not be a concern for India that mm -hmm. if we are making relations with Iran, Saudi Arabia is saying that we should not make relations. We should say that we will have good relations with you on where our interests are mm -hmm. similar, we will cooperate and where Iran and our interests are similar, we will cooperate with them. Mm -hmm. So your conflict is with you but we will cooperate with both of you. Okay. Uh, Alright, one last question. Uh, US, our relationship with US is growing. Uh, there is some feeling that it's actually growing so fast and we are becoming so close 
uh, that it actually is hurting us. Yes, sir. So, sir, in the recent times, with the Trump administration, a postal bonhomie can be seen. Uh, the Prime Minister. So it is being said that Russia, which is our all-time uh, friend, they are thinking that we are going too close to US. But India has said that the interest which US can fulfill, they cannot be fulfilled by Russia. So we have cooperation in defense, in technology, in IT sector. And with Russia also, we have bought certain helicopters and we are having certain uh, defense agreement with Russia. So this problem is there how to balance the relation with different countries but I think what we are doing is right with the foreign policy perspective because national interest come, comes first. All right, thank you. What is net neutrality? What does it mean to LMN? So net, net neutrality. Sir, it is about uh, the trans the data which is being transferred, it should not be discriminated. The ISPs which are providing the data, uh, it need not to be discriminated. And with equal speed, with equal rate, it should be given to the uh, end consumers. That is net neutrality. Has the issue been sorted out? Or is there still something pending to be discussed on that? Sir, so the policies of free basics and uh, ATL zero, those were scrapped, scrapped because uh, the government said it violates the principle of net neutrality. But the contours of net neutrality are very broad because ISPs, they usually say that whatever the earnings are there, they go to the uh, website owners. And for us to build infrastructure and to build uh, and to give connectivity, we need to have money. For that purpose, they say that uh, this can be justified. So these are issues that need to be. Did BlackBerry close its operations in our country? Is there any reason? No idea. Okay. You must have heard of the bullet train. Yes. So how do we justify it? Because the law of basic safety and basic uh, uh, number of coaches as well as you know, amenities are lacking. Yes. So how are we justifying bullet train? Sir, in the short term, these issues are there of safety, speed of the trains, collision system, anti-collision system. But if we have to keep the long-term perspective, we have to invest in those initiatives. Like uh, when India got independence, everyone said that why we are going for space uh, industry. But we are reaping the benefits of it nowadays. So we have to keep a long-term perspective uh, so that we don't lag behind when uh, all these things come in the future. Okay, what is your view on the cryptocurrency? So most of the countries have banned this cryptocurrency. Uh, even our finance minister said that it is like a Ponzi scheme because no, uh, no investment is there, no capital is there for its backing. I think uh, it is right, and but blockchain technology which is there behind cryptocurrency that can be utilized in. Many. Is there a ban? Has any country banned it? <laughs> China has banned it. South Korea. Uh, has also imposed restrictions on it. What is the, what is the harm? Sir, laundry, black money could be used in this and the laundering can be done and other than that security issues are there. So, or a virtual currency, if there is a cyber attack, that currency can be gone. And above all, there is no banking, no physical asset is there in that currency. So, it's an issue. Okay, there are suicide among young people school and college student nowadays. Yes, so what is the reason and how do you think, uh, bring about a reassurance to them? So, it can be related to juvenile delinquency I have read. Like, uh, if family pressure is there, fighting among the family is there, or we have mutilated families where uh, parents don't interact much with the student, then in the college and universities pressure studies pressure is there, peer pressure is there, many of the students are on drugs because of these things, unemployment is one reason. So these all are things are the reason behind suicides among the youths. Twelfth class students, uh, they are uh, you know, doing suicide, so it's a big concern I think. What is the role of Competition Commission of India? What does it do? Competition Commission of India ensures that uh, just competition is there in the market. 
like uh, monopolies are not created, trust should not misuse, like acquisition happens in order to eliminate the competition. Those things should not be there and they ensure that proper competition is there in the market. So, Junaid, uh, we have come to the end of this mock interview. I'll give you some feedback. What do you think you have done? Or have you done uh, well or, or what is your feeling? Few questions I could have answered better. Mm -hmm. and above all, I think it was okay. Well, you have done very well. Let me sum up. You have done very well. And your confidence level is very high. Mm -hmm. Is this your first mock interview or you have done some? This is my second mock. So last year I gave interview. Achha, last year you gave a UPS interview. Yes, so how was it? It was good. Sir. I didn't get marks in the uh, In men's. Otherwise in an interview your marks was good. Yes. How much? 182. Oh, very good marks. So, this time also what I find, we find that you are answering with a positive, with a positivity and uh, your approach is uh, very good. Um, you see, we, because of paucity of time, we didn't ask some questions on your state yes, uh, and district. So, there might be some questions prepared uh, on Vijno, then Uttar Pradesh, you know, what are the strong points, what are the issues, um, there are communal classes at times, suppose you are posted as district magistrate, how you will, uh, what steps you will take to prevent such communal incidents. Uh, then, you know, this uh, farmer's low, uh, this, uh, loan waiver, yes, uh, what is your view about it? Prepare in some such, you know, these are some of the state related questions. Okay. Your hobby is reading books. Yes. So, my colleague asked you what book you have read. Last, they might ask you that, that kind of question what is the last book you have read or which book you like, yes. why you like it, yes. ah, who is your uh, you know, who, author, which author you like most, yes. ah, and then name some of the books of that author, like that. So, hobby, state, and also your subject. Now you know electronics and communication. Some questions were asked on uh, artificial intelligence and other things, but we prepared for some other most some questions because they might ask on uh, um, hmm. so many questions could be asked. Hmm. So and then current affairs. Current affairs you get majority of questions. Ah, and if you are reading newspaper, if you are keeping yourself up to date with everything, Indo-US relations, then Maldives is so, then all this the visit of the Iranian president, then this Canada, Prime Minister of Canada, all this, ah, Asian countries, India's relation, North East, North East. There was a question asked that how uh, <coughs> North East is related with North East policy. Ah, so like that, you, you might be seeing the Transcript. transcripts, you have seen them. Yes, right? a few of them. Ah, so it is like that only. So prepare accordingly, they might ask these questions which you already you have read. Only thing is that you should prepare how to answer within a limited time. Yes, sir. You don't have to write an essay there. So within you know one minute or one and a half minute you have to answer a question. Yes. Ah, so you prepare accordingly. And uh, you have already done well in the last video. This year also we hope you will do extremely well. You go with a very positive mindset. And I think you will do it. Huh? Prepare. Be all right. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to never miss an update.